Welcome to Adventures with Captain Ray Kelly. On this adventure, we do a little Mavic Air flying at the Horton Point Lighthouse in South Hole, New York. Hi, welcome to Adventures with Captain Ray Kelly. And we're here at the Horton's Point Lighthouse. We're gonna take the drone up, the Mavic Air 2, fly over the lighthouse in Long Island Sound. It's gonna be a great flight. Okay, so this is the Mavic Air 2. It's really a great drone. I'll give you a closer look at it. And uh, we'll be going up shortly. I made sure no people were in the area and I took off. And then I turned the drone around and took her on up. The Horton Point Lighthouse is beautiful. There's a lot of history here. And that's the Long Island Sound out there. Well, the Horton Point Lighthouse was built in 1857. It was commissioned in 1790 by George Washington. Well, as you can see, the lighthouse is beautiful and it's been here a long, long time. And take a look at this anchor. This anchor is from the Commodore ship. This is the story of the wreck of the Commodore on Thursday, December 27th, 1866. At 4 p.m., the Commodore set sail from New York City to Boston with $100,000 worth of freight and over 120 passengers. The weather, while snowy and windy, was not unusual, but by 10 p.m. the storm abruptly worsened and turned into a brutal gale. The fast gust winds swept over the starboard side, across the section of the hull, and washed away the smokestack. Most of the freight stacked on the deck was quickly away. The Commodore, Unable to be steered, was driven southward on Long Island Sound toward Horton Point Lighthouse. The ship, after it was lifted by the waves over the sandbar just west of the lighthouse, hit the bottom in 30 feet of water and was holed by the rocks just below the surface. How are your names? Well, I'm Dave McMaster. This is my wife, Ellen. And where are you guys from? We live in the Potsdam, New York area, about 20 minutes from the Canadian border up in the St. Lawrence Valley. So what do you think of the Hortons Point Lighthouse and Long Island in general? We've been really enjoying uh, the South Hold area here. And the lighthouse is beautiful. I didn't realize it was actually commissioned by George Washington himself. Uh, the sad news is we, of course, can't get in because of this. <laughs> Well, enjoy the rest of your vacation. Well, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. The North Shore of Long Island is a very rocky shoreline. And the Horton Point Light protected the sailing ships back in the day. And uh, 14 miles across is Connecticut. The grounds of the Horton Point Lighthouse are really nice. And the views of the Long Island Sound and Connecticut are amazing. As you can see, there are a lot of rocks on the shoreline here, and a lot of ships sunk here. Yeah, that's me down there by the white Tucson. 
but I'll spin them around and give you a look of South Hole, New York. Well, it was time to bring the bird home, so I brought it in. Careful of these trees here. I didn't want to hit one of the limbs and obviously crash. That would have spoiled a great flight. But anyway, I lined up the drone with the landing pad and Landed right on the edge. The North Shore of Long Island is a very, very rocky shoreline, and uh, a lot of ships sunk. But the uh, lighthouse was commissioned to protect these sailing ships back in the day. It's an active light, and it's still protecting vessels today. Your names? I'm Charlie. I'm Sarah. I'm from Southold. I'm from Kutchow. And what do you guys think about this lighthouse here? I think it's a great spot to come hang out, have some lunch. You know, there's a little nature trail in the back. It's the beach nice, is beautiful yeah, at sunset. Beautiful sunset beach. And it's just a nice, nice location. I really like it. Well, that's it. Another great flight. Perfect landing right on the H. And uh, we got some great shots of the Hortons Point Lighthouse here in Kutchog. And if you're ever out in the area, stop in. It's a great place to visit. So until next time, fly safe. And I'll close with one last look of the Hortons Point Lighthouse. And as always, thanks for watching.